What's going on, everybody? What's up? What's up? Happy uh, day after Christmas. We are. Uh, I'm di dipping back into some Moonglow Bay. As a lot of you all know, I was really excited about this game, and then it had a really rough launch. Now, there's been a bunch of updates since then, and I wanted to kind of give it another shot. So, gonna start over on a fresh new game. Let's see. This is who we went with last time. I think we're gonna go with the same one. Set name. Oh. Hmm. Still a little sketchy on the setting of the name. But uh, there we go. Anyway, what are y'all up to today? Happy, uh, happy Christmas. Who is your partner? We got Casey, Maxime. Let's go with Casey. And away we go. Now I am playing with a controller. That was one of the big criticisms at launch is um, the mouse and keyboard controls were straight awful. Come on, you guppy, grab the line. So, oh, that's right. We start off with a tragic story. <laughs> Fishing is easier than it looks, I promise. What are you afraid of? <laughs> Nothing except for the water, the monsters, the curse. You know what the locals say. <laughs> They're just stories, every one of them, I promise. <laughs> Let me show you the basics. Follow along with me. Stand in a decent fishing spot, like at the edge of the boat, right here, then select the fish and hook icon to begin. Alright, let's do it. Fish will be more cautious if you cast near your boat or the shore. The further you cast, the more likely something will bite. Press and hold... Circle. What's up, Prime? To cast your line, the longer you hold, the greater the distance. Alright, let's do it. Now be patient. Keep the lure still and wait for something to bite. The moment the lure dips under the water, press and hold right trigger. The hook the fish. Be quick or it may escape. Continue holding right trigger to reel it in. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. And we got us a 19 kilo uh, grating belly fish. Our first, uh, our first fish of the playthrough. Oh my! Uh -huh. The sundering blow work on the adept. It would work with the primary attack, like your mouse click. Nah, it doesn't work with abilities on any hero. It's a primary attack thing. When you get the hang, give it another go. This time without my help. Doesn't really seem like it's casting any further when I hold the button down. Get in the boat, fishy. Well, the adept is just not good, period. <laughs> I hate to say it, but truth is truth. It's not one of the uh, commonly used DPS heroes. It used to be, but they all got normalized and nerfed and everything else. See, fantastic and different species will need a variety to cook and sell for our new business. And here comes the monster. Oh, man. Look out. Everybody panics. It's just a whale. This town's ridiculous superstitions. No wonder the fishing trade is ruined. Oof. Big oof. 
With the base full of amazing creatures all awaiting to be discovered, we'll find them and share them with the world. Mm -hmm. On that note, here, to celebrate our new adventure. Hmm. What happened to no more surprises? Feels like a book. I'll open it tomorrow night once you're back. You still want this, right? We can always go back to Ontario. Mm. Of course, moving here, it's your dream. But I'm asking you what you want. What's your dream? Mm. My dream hasn't changed in 40 years to spend every day with you. Oh. Huh. Then I'll be right here the whole journey by your side. Welcome home. Well, thanks, Casey. Lots of big smooches, big smooches. Oh, yeah. The new home, the Moon Glow Bay. Three years later. Oh, damn. Casey is gone. The game starts you right off with like a sob story. At least my little dog is still here. <laughs> Who we got? Nope, that's not the door. River Fisher, hey dad River, why aren't you in Quebec? The funny thing is, is Like three years ago, we moved here with the wife The wife died, and all of a sudden in three years Our kid is full grown and, and taller than I <laughs> I gave my notice, some things are more important Your house is a wreck, Pops is this it? Presumption of the aforementioned believed to be dead owing to an absence of no less than three years. Wow, it's all so real. It's great you're here, but I'm fine, honestly. I got a new job. I'm overseeing the Centennial Festival. You're doing what here in Moon Glow? The mayor says it'll be a huge boost for the community and people need the support. The whole bay has been struggling for years. When the fishing trade collapsed, half the town closed down. If we can't attract new visitors soon, Moonglow Bay might never recover. Anyway, on to brighter things. It's time you open that present. A fishing journal. Well, good thing I got a fishing journal to my darling juice for the journey by your side. You've been holding on to this for three years, Dad. Maybe it's time to write a new chapter. You're saying I should restart the business? Precisely. A new street food stall is exactly what this town needs. You would be an inspiration. We should head out right now. Catch some ingredients. That's a great idea. Let me tidy first. If I'd have known you were coming and ruin the surprise. Hey, okay. I'll be down on the beach. All right, so we got to uh, tidy up the noodle packets. We got mad trash all around this mofo. And that we got junk over here. Oh man, we have wrecked the kitchen. And that's the last of it. Trash cans outside, since you clearly forgot. All right, dump the trash.
Well, let's see. Hey, Dad, you look a bit lost. I'm looking for the, um, you know, the place that sells the things. If you're looking for somewhere specific in town, just check out your map. Your map display is all shops, businesses, and points of interest. Just press that at any time. We'll do. How do I get back to the quest log? Here we go. Meet River at the beach. All right. Well, that's easy. Maybe. All right. Here we go. Here we go. You were right. The streets are so empty. I barely noticed before. The town needs investment, pure and simple. But at least you have everything you need for your business. Your fishing rod, your kitchen, and a place to sell food. First things first. Let's catch some ingredients. Let's do it. When reeling, you use a quick burst of effort to haul the fish in a particular direction. Technique is called striking. To strike, move against the direction of the fish is swimming, then press left trigger. Just don't strike too often or you'll tie yourself out. Fair enough. A ling cod. 18 kilo ling. It's light on actual information. I'm an accountant, not a marine biologist. I'm sure the aquarium can fill in the details. Very nice. Since we're here, let's recap water behavior and luring. When reeling a fish, it will behave in one of three ways, depending on its species. Fast species will dart around quickly to wriggle free. Reflexes are key. Aggressive species will use a combination of speed and strength. Resilient species are slow, moving, but strong. It'll take several powerful strikes to haul one in. Fortunately, you can attract specific fish by using lures. Give it a go. Select a lure and cast your line. All right. Let's see. The jig lure will attract aggressive and resilient fish. Spinner lure will attract fast and aggressive. Finally, plug lure will attract resilient and fast. All right. Which one do we want to use? Let's use the spinner. The slicing tail. Seven kilos, very nice. Finally, a word on bait. What about bait? Baiting your line is essential to catching larger species of fish, two types, low grade and high grade. Cast with no bait, you'll attract small fishes only. Low grade will be small and medium, and high grade will be medium and large. Try it now. Select the lure and bait grade and cast your line again. All right. Low or high. I've got 20 of them. So let's use that. And let's try this again. See if we can get us bigger fishes. Oops, missed. Missed it. Wrong button. Yanked that bad boy right on in. An eight kilo Pollock. We'll take it. There's a huge range of sea creatures out there, so mix up your lure, bait, and location to catch a variety. Just be aware that your bait is limited. Be careful you don't run out. Until the sea market reopens, high grade bait in particular will be in short supply. That's fair. Out of the house before midday. Hey, Abby, you remember River? Of course, what brings you to our shabby little burg? Wait, Juice, is that you finally opened it? It's a fishing journal. Casey and I had a thing for these waters once. In fact, I'm reviving the business, selling street food straight from the ocean. Juice, you are gonna... Nice, thanks, Abby. 
Sorry, sorry, but in three years, you never once struck me as outdoorsy. Maybe it's time for a change. In that case, Captain Noodles, if you're gonna peddle piss... This kind cuisine from the most cursed cove in Canada. I insist you learn how to cook. Follow me. Probably fair bet. Let's do it. You're selling street food. Your kitchen is going to be your new best friend. To create a meal, you need three things. Raw fish, recipe, and enough shells to cover the cost of any additional ingredients. Uh -huh. Collected recipes will appear in your journal. When you step into the kitchen, you can browse and choose which meals you want to make. What do we got? We got fish and chips. That costs 10. I don't have any money. Uh, fish cakes cost zero. I like it. Make some fish cakes. Go with the old slicing, the slicing tail. And then there's that batch cook thing. I think I have to unlock that. Or no. Two. Here, we'll just... We'll do all four at the same time. Hey, your kitchen is always stocked with supplies, so the only ingredients you need to source are the fish. First, go to the fridge, collect the necessary ingredients. <laughs> Move to the different stations around the kitchen, follow the instructions. And be precise. Mistakes will lower the quality of your meal and its sell value. That's no good. All right, let's start off with the washing. Now you get, uh, once you create so many dishes, you unlock like auto crafting where you don't have to jump through all these hoops. You can just auto make it. Oh. Press when the marker is in each hit zone. the water at the correct temperature. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, ooh. Who knew the boiling was going to be such hard work, huh? Fry. We're going to boil it, fry it, and then bake it. Wow. Press when the marker reaches the hit zone. That's fair. There are other stations around the kitchen, but you'll figure them out. Nice. We got us some fish cakes. Always remember to put your cooked meals out for sale. The storage box in your front yard will have to do for now. That's right. We got fish cakes out of a box. Everybody wants some fish cakes out of a box, right? At the doggy, just for good luck. And then throw the fish cakes in there. <laughs> sell the fish you catch and the meals you cook. Fish and meals will sell gradually throughout the day, and the shells you earn will be transferred directly into your account. This old box is very appealing. You should upgrade to a proper machine. That's a, probably a good call. Haru runs the tech shop. He'll give you a good deal. Speaking of new people, if you're exploring the waves, you'll need to recover your trawler. Chat to Sarah at the boat shop. Finally, for information about fish species and filling in your journal, speak to Marina at the aquarium. You're really serious about this. No one's been out on these waters for three years. Oh, man. There are dozens, hundreds of strange and dangerous creatures out there, and we both know what it's like to lose someone. I'll be okay, trust me. Sarah, Haru, and Marina. I'll see you soon. All right, so we're probably gonna have to make some money before we can do too much. This is the boat shop, right? Is that Sarah? <laughs> no, that's Abby. Huh. <laughs> Better hop to it then. Something to show once you're done, all right. We're gonna head on through town here. Where is Haru? Is that in here? Hmm. 
No, not there. I guess it'll be on the map, huh? Oh, down a little further, it looks like. There we go. Akio. Ah, uh, Mr. Fisher, a very good day to you. If you came looking for amusing nautical towels, I have none, so stop fishing. Dang, dude. Okay, so that's their hours. Uh -huh. Here we go. Long time no see. Yeah. What can I help you with? Selling fish. Fish? Yes, fish. It's been so long since anyone sailed the bay. What are you currently using? Not much. My storefront is basically a storage box and an honor system. That's just sad. What you need is a windowed polyvend. That's exactly what I need. A vending machine for seafood. Absolutely. My dad ordered a few on special import, but... When half the town shut down, our three units in stock are proving tricky to shift. Tell you what, cook up and bring me a simple fish and chips. Maybe I can swing you a new customer discount on the display. Alright. So homie wants some fish and chips. That's fair. That is fair. Now who else did I have to go see? The museum. I feel like I need to catch some fish before I go back to the museum. Oh, here's the boat shop. Uh. Been a while, huh? Finally come to collect your trawler. Exactly, the two cats. Seriously, I thought I was making a joke. Clearly not a very funny one. In that case, let me find your paperwork. Yeah. Log fuel pump and the intake uh. valve is shot. For three years storage, you got off easy. A hundred clams for the repairs. You can pay once I've finished the work. Uh -huh. Just give me a little time to finish up. I'll be in touch once the repairs are complete. Oh, man, she just straight booted me. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. All right, so got to wait for the repairs. So let's head on down to the museum. Welcome. Apologies. The aquarium isn't open for visitors. I'm not a tourist. I'm looking for Marina. At your service. Wait, Juice, right? Casey's husband? Casey was the soul of this place, the only sailor unfazed by all the legends. Someone who truly recognized the potential of both the aquarium and Moonglow. Yeah. To be famous, there are countless species out there unique to these waters. Just a handful would make the aquarium a huge tourist attraction. With a little investment, we could study the whole aquatic biome, turn this archaic town of myths and monsters into a hub of scientific progress. But when Casey vanished, those dreams vanished too. It's a huge undertaking. Quite simply, the aquarium needs new species, as many as you can find. The more unique creatures we house, the more new visitors we'll attract. Theoden, what's up, man? How you doing? Wow. Business across town would benefit, including yours. Every new species you bring will boost yeah. your sales. Just bring me three new species, any three you can find. All right, so it needs to go fishing. Because I don't have, uh, I cooked all the fish. And that was it for the quest, right? I need to get the fish and chips for Haru. I need to catch some fish. Imagine that, a fishing RPG that is going to require me to catch some fish. Crazy. Uh, anyway, dipping back into some moon glue there, Thaden. It's been a little while. Um, there's been a bunch of updates since I played last. So I did a fresh start just to kind of... Um, get refreshed with the story and just kind of get a feel for uh, for how things are going okay we got a Pollock come on fishy oh I didn't check my bait did I A striped nibbler. Catch one more and then we'll head back down and turn them in at the museum. Two o'clock. I think there'll be plenty of time. Oh, Pollock. I just yanked that one in. 
<laughs> the old uh, power move when you're reeling them in. It, I remember that from before. You're fishing with your rod from the bank. You can just rip them right out of the water. <laughs> there we go. And a ling. So there's three species. Let's uh, run on back down and turn them in real quick. Yo, yo. going on there lunar okay so we got a pollock a nibbler and a lingcod place is finally coming alive i can't wait to tell olivia at this rate i'll need to buy a whole new wing so this is only the beginning right you'll need more absolutely lots more this is an ongoing enterprise you're helping the whole community every new fish will increase the sale price of the meals in your vending machine Plus, as a personal thank you, I'll provide all the information I can for your journal. Yeah. Sweet. Moonglow Bay has been plagued by myths and mysteries for decades, but with your help, we'll turn this ailing town into a beacon of progress. Yeah. Just remember, when you catch a new species, bring it straight here. That's fair. All right, so. What do I need to do? I need to come up with 100 clams, so I need to catch some more fish, cook them up, and throw them in the box, right? So let's uh let's snag a couple more fishes here. How are we set up? We got a spinner, we got low grade bait. We've only got the one rod, so that's fair. A few more fishes to generate some cash and we'll be in good shape. Oh, we just gonna rip them out of the water here. They're fishy, fishy. A bay ripple fish. That one's new. There's a couple of fishing. Um, RPG type games that are coming out. And then there's no um, like tired meter, so you can actually stay up all night if you want to. Ooh. A baby, but it's a. Uh, must be because it went to night. So I need the fish and chips, and then I need to make 100 clams for the boat. Oh, it's blocked. I'm at 91 clams right now. That little bar across, uh, my little holiday bar across the screen is blocking my clams. Sorry, y'all. Did not notice that. Catch one more, and then we'll head on to the crib. Need to get my boat. All right, let's head on back over to the house. Yo, yo, what up, Melissa? Check out the zebras. Unmistakably, looks like a zebra. Same stripes, tails, fins. I know, weird, right? Oh, yeah. Who we got here? Sophie. Try talking to people around town. That's what I'm doing right now. Talking to all y'all. Your street food is the talk of the town. Everybody's like my fish cakes out of the box out front. <laughs> Tuna sashimi. Oof. Oh, you can push them around. <laughs> Ms. Chips. Must be the owner of that delightful yellow pup. Oh, yeah. Waffles, he's a Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever. He likes chasing birds, barking at the front door, and rubs. 
Looking for new customers. If anything you'd like to try. Steamed fish. That's fair. And then what? We had somebody else here that I missed. I was taking a drink. Uh, Mrs. Goto, run a small business engaging interest in different recipes. I don't usually care for seafood, but perhaps I could sample your surf and turf. That's going to be pricey, huh? Oof. Gertrude Crisps. Old Bale, a notorious balloon-like beast that upsets children. Oh, man. Oh, 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 don't you run away. Heather Ways. Take care out on the waves. Like I tell the kids, remember the three S's. Safety, safety, and safety. But of course. Sorry, y'all. Taking some sips. Taking some sips of my drink. All right. Now, where it was my house. There's the little shop. This is my house here. Oh, is that a bus station? Huh. All right, so we need to cook some of these bad boys up. And we can nap through to the next day. Okay, we can make bait. Uh, fish and chips. We needed to make that for what's-his-face. We'll give him a, a Pollock. Actually, let's make uh, let's make all four. Actually, I can't remember if I need that one. So let's make three. Actually, you know, let's just make all four. How tough was it, right? All right, get fishes. Chop. A fry. Get the taters. Boiling is the hardest one. It doesn't respond really well with the keyboard or with the controller. All right, so I got my fish and chips. What else do we want to make? Um, well, we can make some cheap stuff. A sizzling fish. Sizzling fish sounds tasty. Sells for 25. Grating belly fish sells for 25. Uh, those sell for 23. Let's see. The bay ripple fish. I can't remember if I turned that one in or not. And we'll go two slicing tails, because I know I've turned that one in. We'll cook three of these guys, make a little bit of cash. All right, we're going to wash them first. This is the weird one. You gotta boil it, fry it, and bake it. It's like, good lord, man. That is some serious cooking. So I think that's all we've got. So let's go ahead and nap it out here uh, to the next day. Morning. Oh, yeah. We getting up bright and early. 6 a.m. So, we got the fish and chips. We're going to have to dump some stuff in the box. But we need one. We need to save one of those. The needs we can jump all, dump all three in. And then hopefully that gives me a little bit of cash. 
for when it's time to get the boat going again. So let's run down. Where is his shop again? I think I might go do a little fishing here real quick while I'm waiting for him. Let's do it. Ocean Angel. Well, we're getting new fish. We're going to run out of bait here soon. I need to get out where I can get out with the net. That's where the real deal is, but I got to get to that stage. I think it's like 9 a.m. when all the shops open. Maybe it's earlier. I don't remember. Fishy fishy. One more and then uh, we'll go hit the shops. All right. So. It was Haru or whatever. Let me see. Where was he at? Hmm. I feel like it was right here. These guys get out of the way. Yeah, here we go. All right, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be giving him the fish and chips. recipe is there a specific fish i need for fish and chips no any will do just follow the recipe i'll be waiting hungrily here you go homie have you some fish and chips let's see attractive plated well seasoned street style your presentation's top notch the window polyvan is exactly what you need it's eye-catching and it's simple to use your customers will happily pay a little extra per dish. Nice. It's all yours, no charge. Sweet. All right. Oh, we got a new task. Oh, let's bring in new fish. Okay, we got to return to Abby. Then we got to bring 10 new species to the aquarium. So let's just run these to the aquarium. I guess later down the road, we'll get a little scooter. I mean, the town's not very big. You can clear it pretty quick, but. All right, we got to donate all these fishes. Yeah. <clears throat> There's three anyway. All right, 1025 on a rainy day. I still can't, I don't have a boat yet. But I did have uh, another quest to come meet on the beach, right? This is where I get my net, I think, if I remember correctly. Huh. I recovered the two cats and purchased a shiny... Or I haven't recovered the two cats yet, though. Hmm. That suddenly makes you feel... Makes you Felix Wilson. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, the angler. Angler, famously. So what now? You've attacked the bay with a rod and a plucky attitude. Why? Is there something else yeah. I need? A net for starters. Come on, let me show you.
Net fishing is a great way to acquire bait or to catch several small fish at once. It's also the only way to catch species that cannot be lured. See those black insects? Those are sand fleas. Sand fleas provide you with low-grade bait, ideal for most fish in the bay. Cast your net. Tap to build power, then tap again to release. Uh -huh. Alright. Now to haul in the fleas. Right click and then guide it left and right. Gotcha. Hmm. Doesn't... Wasn't, uh... All right, well, we got some sand fleas. <laughs> Very nice. Keep all. Feel free to come back and catch more anytime. Every sand flea produces three pieces of low grade bait. That's crazy, man. Those fleas must be huge. <laughs> now you can take what you've learned out into the bay. Just look out for any dark areas in the water, cast your net, and you're sure to find something. But I don't have my boat yet. Oh, here we go. Two cats is ready to go. I really don't like you sailing out into the great blue yonder. People have lost their livelihoods to that thing. It's not a monster, I know that much. And we've learned all we can from the shore. At least get a decent radio from Haru's shop. That way, if you get into trouble out there and need a tugboat. Okay. All right, so I need to get the boat. Whole ocean out there to explore. All right, so Sarah. It looks like Sarah is right behind me, right? <clears throat> or no? This is Casper. I smelt this herb a while ago. It reminds me of Dad. I can't think of the name. Cilantro. Miss Chips grows lots of it. It's pretty common. Maybe we can help. weird unless this is my boat right here at this shop oh I think it is or no that is so weird objective not it either. It's definitely on the beach. Ah. Steamed purple tail. Mm -hmm. ah. I don't have a steamed purple tail to give. Alright, so let's go get the boat. Needs boat, please. Where the heck is the boat? Down here on the right. Yeah. Just finished replacing yeah. the intake valve, and for you, the keys to the two cats. Thanks very much. I'm not, I'm sailing. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh. Abby's daughter. Aside from that, be safe out there. These are strange waters. Here we go. We in the boat. The world is our oyster and our fish and our lobster and every other creature out there. I didn't get the radio yet. I should have got the radio yeah. first, huh? Hmm. Each area is split into sections, which will help you navigate for now. Let's catch some fish in the Bay Waters area. Hmm. 
Right. Keep getting too close to the to the fishes. Let me see. Can I catch them from here? Maybe we can just net catch them. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, these are not net catchers here. All right. I remember the net uh, being a great way to catch fish. But that's clearly not... Um, not what you do. Or here we go. These are net catchers right here, I bet. Pull up a little further. Try not to spook them. There we go. This is where you how you get like mad fish. We got sand flea, child of the moon, a purple tail. We got lots of stuff. Oh shoot, did I just keep all or did I release all? Hopefully I didn't release all. Pollock, Child of the Moon, and more Purple Tail. Very nice. Oh. Well, I got the one anyway. Seems like I got my boat in a bad position or something. All right, we're catching lots of purple tail now, so I'll be able to make that uh, boiled purple tail or whatever the heck it was. There we go. Now we're getting it. All right, let's see. Let's head back to the house. Is this the house right here? I think this is the house right here, actually. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Keep reeling. All right. So, we gotta, we gotta do some bait, too, because I'm gonna be out of bait. Let's see. Do uh, another round of bait. Chop it up, fleas. Oh, man. All right, what now? Well, I mean, we can do that last bait, I guess. I don't remember how many of the f the fish you have to make or of each recipe that you have to make. See, it was steamed purple tail. Was that the thing she wanted? I think that was it. I'll make four of those bad boys.
And then what else? Whole fish. That's the Ling. This one is selling for a bonus amount, so let's just make uh, a bunch of fish cakes. I can't remember what I need to turn in either. There we go. Oh yeah, this is the one you gotta boil, fry, and bake. I'm gonna stay away from this one. Boiling is the worst, man. All right. Well, that should be lots of goodies to make some cash. What was that? Oh, you can sit in the little chair and kick it. All right. Well, I don't really need to going through a whole kick your feet up thing. Stop reading. Yeah, let's stop reading. Go ahead and nap it out till uh, the morning. And then see what else, uh, what else we need to do here. All right, we gotta dump our catch. And we got the vending machine now. We gotta save one of those for that NPC. Put all of those there. All right, well, let's see. Now what did we have? We got quest popped up all over the place here. Gotta see what these things are. Fish in different areas. That's easy. Meet with Mayor Trembly. And then bring new... I think fishing in different areas is gonna... Just be the way to go. So let's see. What areas did we need to fish in? The Azure Crossing, Perching Isles, and Border Sea. Let's see, how do you zoom this out? Can you zoom it out? Hmm. Doesn't look like you can zoom the map out. Oh, yeah, you can. I was just zoomed out all the way. All right, there's one of the places... Oh, wow. Well, let's just go out to there. Well, this is saying as you're crossing right here. So if I just catch a random old fish here. Yeah, that got me one. Or it said task updated. Let me let me see this again. That's definitely another area. So let's just head over to it. Where is it again? Way down this way, huh? Hmm. 
Oh, nope, I'm going the wrong damn way. Gotta be out this way somewhere. Perching Isles. You got some weird stuff going on in the water. Let's go out closer to the island out here and see what's up. Like that looks like a good net. Maybe not. Maybe I didn't uh, park the boat quite right. Well, I got a bunch of fish anyway. We got a ling, a red drum. That's new. And an Atlantic cod. Very nice. Very nice. The Beak Bite Beastie. Oh, damn. Water babies. All right, we're catching different stuff here. Now, the thing is, is did it update my journal for the Perching Isles area, I wonder? Oops. No, so maybe I gotta catch one with like hook, line, and sinker here. Yeah, that updated it. So you got to catch it with your rod. And then we got one more that's way out there. Let's see. Are we heading in the right direction? We are. Let's head out here and see what's up. Okay, the border sea. So yeah, this was our third uh, objective area. Ooh. A sister peach, oh man. That's a weirdo, huh? You've managed to catch something in Azure Crossing, Perching Isles, and Border Sea, but I'm curious. We haven't seen any sign of the monster. We must be missing something. Mm. Cozy Cavern was a hotbed of strange local rumors. They must know something. All right, so let's head back on to town. Yeah, we got to go this way, all right? Maybe? Or no? I mean, yes and no. We gotta go this way, but then back around. If I see any more good net fishing spots, I think I'm gonna grab some more just, uh... Just so I can make some cash. I'm... See, I've got the 277 clams, so... Oh, don't wreck! I still don't like the camera angle when you're in the boat. I don't know. I wish it would like auto adjust all the way out for you. And I also wish the camera stayed behind the boat. It feels really weird. The camera angle does. Uh, besides that, all the movement and controls feel pretty decent now compared to what it did.
crusted orbs, a couch potato, and a child of the moon. Well, we're going to have lots of stuff to turn in, that's for sure. Can't catch anything with them, I don't think. The blazing inker. I mean the the diversity of the fish you catch is definitely good, right? Quite a few different species. Man, I, I'm way behind on getting to that school that's passing. That's good enough for rando strange fish here. Ooh, a red drum. There's another new one. I think I might get to 10 species pretty darn quick. All right, let's see here. Now, how do I get back? I just go follow this around, right? Should be right over here. Oh. Do I want to snag these two? Ah, let's do it. I mean, it is a fishing game, right? Having more fish is not necessarily going to be a bad thing for me. Grating bellyfish. Same old, same old stuff. Going on there, Jay. How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. Checking out a little Moon Glow Bay again today. It's been a while. Um, it had kind of a rough launch. Got a bunch of bad reviews, and it was all really... It was down to the control schematic. Is what kind of did it. And they've put a couple of different updates out, changing some things, um, changing the controls, making it so you don't get so that there's a way to get yourself unstuck if you get stuck somewhere. So the game's definitely come along some. I think there's still lots uh, lots for him to do, though. We'll have to see how that goes. All right, let's get on back now. It's getting late. Where is the house again? Should be straight this way, right? Yep. Well, there it is right there. Good Lord. All right. Let's get, uh, get some more stuff cooked up here. What do we got? Fish tacos. Oh, yeah. Those cost five, but I can sell them for 20. These cost zero, and I can sell for 27. Those cost zero, I can sell for 25. It seems like this purple tail. I only had one of them, though.
All right, what else can we make? We can make some sizzling fish. That's with the ling. I actually have seven of those, so we can do a full batch. can actually make more of those. Those sell for a decent amount. Almost went over on that one. Alright, so there's a little bit more cash. What else do I want to make, though? I feel like I need to... get down to the... museum and see what I can dump off, because I have to get ten. It's a fishing RPG, so there's, like, little quests that you work your way through, but... It's all about fishing, and uh, the story is you're helping to revitalize the little town of Moonglow Bay here. So, throw these in the old vendor. What do we got? Steamed purple tail. We need to keep one of those. The sizzling fish. Is that all we made? It's all I made. All right. Was this one the steamed purple mm. tail? Mm. I don't get why people can't tidy their own mess. Should have seen dad's living room. It was like a noodly crash site. So much garbage. Makes mom sad. So we need to clean up the bay. Who was it that wanted the... Here we go. This is the guy that wanted this one. Sorry, dude. It's a little cold. recipe out of that so you earn recipes through your relationship building with the town members um, that in turn makes you more money and helps develop the town and there's gonna be lots of unlocks through the town uh, one of the other things I need to get going here is uh, the museum or the aquarium it's all the way down here at the edge of town they're not open yet, huh? 8 a.m., so I got a couple minutes to wait here. Wait it out until they get opened up. We'll pet the doggo. Looks like she's going in now. Yeah. All right. So we got lots more fish to, de to donate. Wow, ton of them. Ah. 
All right, I think that was it there. Now, what else do I have for objectives now? I gotta purchase a radio. I still need to do that. Meet with Mayor Trembley outside of Town Hall. Yeah, I think it was probably um, definitely inspired by Harvest Moon, uh, without a doubt. I mean, so many great games were, right? But I think this one was inspired by Harvest Moon and Stardew Valley. I need to buy a radio. All right. I got that task complete. I got to collect trash out of the bay, and I got to meet with Mayor Trembly. And the mayor should be right behind me somewhere. I think I remember having issues with this quest before. Or no, here we go. Welcome to the end times. What's going on? You're closing town hall? I have no choice. For years, we barely scraped by. That's why I wanted to speak to you. No cash money. That's the whole reason I'm here, to help with repairs and funding. Surely we can do something. You're kind, but it's too late. Every building, business, and public space needs renovating. The irony is, the townsfolk have shells to spare. Just look at the bulletin board. But no one is willing to invest. That's all it took was to go tell the mayor, come on, homie, don't do that. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that, making promises. Yes, I did. For three years, I watched this town crack and crumble. Casey would never have let that happen. She would fight every day. What do we need to do? Quite simply, invest in as many properties as possible. Every renovation will steadily improve tourism across all of Moonglow, which will gradually increase... Gradually increase the sale price of each meal you sell. Keep an eye out for renovation signs across town, then invest when you can. Check out the Cozy Tavern. All right, let's do it. Cozy Tavern is... Yeah, down this way. I think this is it right here, right? Yeah, there's the sign. Welcome to the Cozy Cavern. Well, what's left of it? So this is Moonglow's famous rumor mill. Used to be before the fishing trade collapsed. Every night there'd be new stories of strange and eerie creatures beneath the waves. The tales would start out modest, of course. Tentacles, giant eyes, a funny color. Then everyone would chime in and embellish with their own hazy recollections. <laughs> Hello from Crystal Bay. What's going on, man? Is that Radish? What's up? What's up? Long time, no see. Till the rumors came back to haunt us, the whole town became too frightened to fish. Check out the sign if you'd like to add to the pot. 300 clams. Good lord. I actually have it. Oh, you guys got mad snow right now. I live up in Spokane, Washington now. Um, But I saw the weather report that there, you guys were getting uh, crazy, crazy snow. My daughter, River. Uh? Call me JP. Everyone does. Come on inside. No harm basking in a little well-earned adulation. Let's do it. Oh. All you ever do is frighten away customers with your credulous drivel. Oh, man. Uh? Hmm. 
How about a tall glass of information? <laughs> Elvis, lovely to meet you. Ask me anything. Man, I'm picking up quests like crazy here. Scourge of Moon Glow Bay, the ruin of ships. They say it first emerged on a midsummer's eve. Jaws lashing its grim, watchful eyes. I really just need species habitat. You come to the wrong place for facts. <laughs> Elvis deals exclusively at hearsay. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> the ruin crashed into the tower last week. The tower, the pillar formation over at Perching Isles, and it left a piece of itself. So they say. All right. So we're going to have, uh, I think we're going to, it's going to give us the quest for the first boss fight. Grilled oysters. All right, let's get out of here. Let me out. All right, so. What did we just pick up for quest? Invest in the town. That's a long-term one. In fact, I think I'm going to untrack that one. Check the bulletin board. I mean, we can just run down and check that and then investigate the tower. All right. So where's the bulletin board? Right down the way here. Can't remember where it's at, but it's down this way. Oh, there it is. Still high demand for seafood, even if no one wants to fish. All right, so you can make a bunch of extra money off the bulletin board. Wow. Ethan has work available, two fish cakes. So, I mean, you more than double your money by taking those things, but we're going to grab our boat and head on out. Because we got to clean up. Well, we've got to clean up trash from the bay, and then we got to go out and investigate the big old, uh, the big baddie. All right, now where is the trash? I think it's just going to be floating around. I remember this one, but I don't, yeah, like this junk right here. I remember this, but I don't really remember it. So, like, I have to catch it with my net. I can't remember how many of those I need. Let's see. Where's the clean up the trash one? Hmm. Well, let me get down to the next page. All right, here we go. Like trash. Okay, I need to do five. Well, I mean, here was another bit right here. Three more bits of trash. That one, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to get out to it with the net. There we go. Let's 
It said task updated. But why did it say task updated? But yeah, I still need two more. Maybe it's just doing that every time I get a piece. There's a big ass box right there. I bet there's something good up in there. I still haven't done Lens Island yet, Thaden. I need to jump in and check that out. There's a bunch of those types of games that I want to take a look at. There's Lens Island. There's um a bunch of them have been updated. Uh like that Flotsam game. I just really adored that Flotsam game. Uh, but it's been, I mean, it's a complete, entirely different game now than when I played it last. It's been years. You know, I started playing it right at the beginning of Alpha. Alright, I think that's it. Yeah, task complete. Alright, now what else do we have here? We gotta get out... ...to here. Should be headed right towards it now. Let me not smash my boat up though. Man, there is trash all the way out here. Holy crap, man. This must be it, the tower. Oh. I gotta come grab this stuff. Can't remember to... Did we do this with the net? Or, no, this must have been with the fishing rod. Oh, yep, that was it. Hmm. Getting the hang of this angling malarkey. Yeah. Let's see. Got to be part of the ruin. Let's show Marina at the aquarium. All right, so now I got to go back to the aquarium. I don't remember this much back and forth before either. And I think I can actually dock at the aquarium now, but it is getting late, so maybe I should just go the next day. If I see any easy pickings with the fishes here, I'll snag them. Oh crap, man, going the wrong way. It's just with, with the way the camera angle changes and everything, it definitely makes it a little bit, uh, a little weird. Um, very easy to get disoriented unless you just constantly look at the map. Well, I mean, we got some easy pickings here, but... Did you jump into Lynn's Island anymore, Theta? 
I know you checked it out. I have a bunch more bait to make, huh? Just grab these and we'll head on back. Cook up what we can. Those eels, too. I don't think I've got a recipe for those yet. Just that one day? That's fair. All right, let's see. Get our bait situation squared away here. I don't really have a lot I can make. I want to have something to go in the box, though. The way I generate some kind of cash the next day. Alright, do I have anything else? This sell for 20. I mean, I got a ton of fish. What's going on there, Marcio? I'm doing good. No, uh, no complaints. Just kind of chillaxing a little day after Christmas, you know? We're, um... We, I've only, we've only got like two more days with my son here before uh, he heads off for his uh, new flight training that he's going to down in Tennessee. So we're going to do some more family stuff here today, later on today. Yeah, a little chillaxing is always nice, right? Definitely. All right. What do we have? We still got a bunch of fish, but I've got fish I need to turn in too. Make some more of these. I'll get one of those. One of those. One of those and one of these. dogs are going ham about something probably deer out in the backyard we've had a lot of deer running through the yard I think that's it. So that's it's midnight, so I might as well just nap it out here. So we gotta go talk to uh, the lady at the marina. And then I think it's gonna give us the first boss fight here soon let me see I got waypoints all over the place too I 
I wish when it went over it, it didn't just say objective, and it would show you what... See, this is a long-term one. I've got it not tracked. The bulletin board. You know what? I think I'm going to untrack that one, too. This is the one I'm interested in. The Monster of Moon Glow. Then return to Claire. Oh, okay. I got to go back to Claire, too. So, yeah, let's go back to Claire here first. She should just be chillaxing right over here. Yo, yo, Claire. Uh -huh. We're best friends. Oh, good. Nine and three quarters. Oh, man. Sharing your cooking. I am not ready to share no cooking yet. Oh, speaking of sh cooking, I got to throw it in a box or I'm not going to make any money today. Must have the yummies in the blender, right? I wondered about these other fish. Do those actually sell for anything in there? Oh, one, three. It doesn't sell for crap. We got 24 of these bubble barnacles. Or those sell for 24. We've got two of those. Some of this stuff sells de pretty decent just for the raw fish. All right, I'll worry about that another time. Let's head down to the museum. I want to get to that first boss fight on the stream today. And uh, this won't be a super long stream because, like I said, doing a little, little chilling with the family here before my son heads out of town. All right. First things first. Fascinating. Part of the great monster that spooked all the sailors. It's whale skin, likely from a barnacle whale, but it's mixed with limestone and steel wire. Poor thing. Oof. Feeds on Atlantic cod, very common in the bay, and retreats to crevices when threatened. Cove nearby, a refuge where, it, refuge where it feels safe, somewhere with pink limestone, likely inaccessible above water. Hope that helps. All right. Get back to the boat. Is it um? Is it out there now? Oh, it is. All right. So here comes the first, the first boss fight. It's actually the only boss fight I've seen in the game so far. Because, uh, like I said, it had the game had a pretty rough launch, but. Definitely seems to be coming along now, though. Controls and everything feel way better. And you can rebind them now, too. Let's see. Get out here. Hard right. Need to get some boat upgrades in, make this bad boy get a little get moving a little quicker too. <laughs> 
All right, that'll get me there in the general direction anyway. My boat's a bit of a bucket right now, y'all. Definitely needs more repairs, more work, period. All right, should be going headed almost right towards it. Ooh, if you run over the box, it disappears. All right, here we go. Oh. Ink limestone, this must be it, yeah. the cove. We'll need help clearing a path. Doesn't Abby have a winch? I'll radio her the coordinates now. Look it up, Abby. Get this stuff out of here. Ah. Uh. You're your own worst enemy, oh yeah. We going whale hunting. Nice. So this should be the first boss fight right inside here. All right, what was the new task? Confront the ruin. Ooh, gonna get lobster traps for this. All right, let's do it. If I remember correctly, it's right in here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Incredible! Docile my eye. Yeah. Wait, what? It's an expression. It means Marina was talking out of her eye. It must be in pain. Look, Dad, on its back. Are those harpoons? Or a whale done got pooned. So. Here is the objective. Get the harpoons out of the whale. Now, where the hell's the whale? There he is. He's gonna tear the boat up too, huh? Let's see. now. Don't smash my boat, bruh. Now where'd he go to? Oh, he's swimming around. <coughs> Pardon me. Where you going, Mr. Whale? Coming over here just to chill a little. All right, let's see. Shoot. It tells you to hit different keys, and I don't know where the buttons are because I've sucked so bad with a controller. <laughs> I have to look down at the controller to see what button is what. All right. One more poon, right? One more poon, and the whale is saved. Where is it at? Hmm. W T F. Where's Mr. Whale at? 
Oh, he's right here. Mr. Whale is now cool. He's no longer a big sea monster. Can fish say thank you? It's a mammal, Dad. And of course they can. All in day's work. What now? Now I ought to make amends with Abby. She's probably worried sick. All right, so first boss fight complete. So uh, we can't get the hell out of here. Oh, 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 no, that's not the right way. I'm going to go around this way and out, I think. Maybe? Yeah, here we go. Oh, that box didn't disappear when I ran over it. <laughs> Alright, so I should just be able to follow the bank right on down. If I see any fishing opportunities, though, I do need to make some more money. I'm sitting on 565 now. I mean, here we can see what this is. Oh, it gave me the lobster pots already. Huh. Well, I don't want to leave it here. Weird, it didn't even, it just gave me the lobsters. It didn't, like this is not where I want to leave my lobster pots though, you know? The chin cutter. Notre Dame Sand Digger, 57 kilos. Good Lord, man. Got a bunch of those bad boys. That's a big ass crab or whatever the hell it is, right? And the Sinking Blacksmith, another new species. Wait for these guys to repop. We'll catch them one more time and then I'll head on back. Striped bass, very nice. We used to catch those when I was a teenager in the Baltimore Harbor when I lived in DC. Ooh, that thing's creepy. Local red, another moon eel. I don't think there's anything I can do with those eels. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a recipe for them later. I'm not sure. Okay, so I need to do a hard right. Go along the tracks here. And then around the building. I don't know, this is a really, really chill game. You know, I'm just wondering if it has enough to it, or is it just, does it feel too much like the same old, same old, you know? Or does it actually have enough to it? Um, as far as like, uh, it's not mine, this is mine over here. 
you know, as far as like some diversity. Now, obviously, I got different ways to catch the fish. Sorry about before for what I said. I miss Richard, that's all. And Casey, this ocean's taken so much. And I know what happened to Casey wasn't overconfidence or some curse. It was just a tragedy. Indeed, it was. Huh. We homies, it's all good. Paris Lavoie would like a word. Oh, man. All right, let's head on in. And we'll save it here. But I think I am going to call it a day there, y'all. Going to get, uh, like I said, a little more, a little more family time in with my brat before he takes off. Because I probably am not going to see him for a while. But um, anyway, thank you all so much for hanging out. Hopefully everyone's having a good holiday. And, um, you know, we'll see. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you're watching this after it was live. Let me know what you think of it. It's super fun. It's a real ch very, very, very chill game. I'm just wondering, does it have enough? Does it like it does it have enough of a catch compared to like Stardew Valley or something like that? to uh, keep you playing through it. The only one way to find out is going to be to play a little deeper and uh, learn more and more about the game. But anyway, thanks a ton, everybody. Uh, hopefully everyone's having a great weekend. And I will see you all soon. Take it easy!